Hi and welcome to this video tutorial with me, Wayne, from drclean.co.uk. In this tutorial, we're going to look at ironing a pillowcase that has a strip on the outside and a reverse strip on the inside. As with everything we do, we suggest that you have an order that you're going to do something in. And with a pillowcase, we suggest you start with the inside, the flap that actually holds the pillowcase in. Because this often isn't totally flat, and you have to make it flat to make sure that every other bit becomes flat also without any wrinkles to it. So, as always, release the steam if you have a steam boiler, and flatten out the inside. You can only do a little proportion of this at a time, in fact, when you get closer to that edge, you've got Just it down. You have to do it slightly sideways for that. I'm not looking for phenomenal flatness here or wonderful looks. What we're looking to do is flatten it out so that we don't get any pieces on the other side. And we know this is the pattern. So that when we start doing the other side, we can actually do it successfully. Now with everything that we do, we want to do something from the side that we're actually going to look at, if possible. And with this we have an edge, and when, where you've got an edge, you've got to be concerned that you're going to roll fabric and create a crease at the back side of it. So we don't want to do that with our hands, we're just going to see what happens as we are. Now if we pull, you'll notice we actually get a better reaction than if we don't pull. Seeing a little bit of a crease underneath, so we push that away. And you can see with our hands, we're just working it like an iron, and we're just going to take the outside of this seam here so that we get the whole of this border correctly all at once. So back it on, stretch, pull in from the outside, and there we go, we've got the whole of that border. We're actually now going to just pull the pillowcase on just a touch. You can see that we've got something underneath because these things front and back need not necessarily be the same. They could warp so we've got to get rid of any creases that might be underneath. And that's why we did our middle section first. Right, we're now absolutely certain that that whole piece is flat. We can go border and down from the top, then away from the edge, down the side. We now pull it forward just a little bit more. You can see these two sections, the top and the bottom, are not actually compatible anymore. One has warped so that the other uh, is actually shorter than the top. So we just go towards the edge, back from the other edge, so I move my body. And now we're on to the final section. in off the edge again and we're using our hand as an eye to make sure that we don't have any creases underneath that we don't want to find in. So we go to the edge, pull, come back from the edge, so we're pushing in, we don't create a crease, and there we go, we've done one half of the pillowcase. Now we're going to fold the pillowcase in half, back on our board and put the Now obviously all the other layers are also getting done at the same time. I'm do just in the centre a nice crease. So. Again, if you've got a vacuum heated board or not, Use your hands to make sure that the steam has actually gone from it so that when you pick it up it's not going to start increasing again. And there we go. We have a really nice pillowcase ironed in effect on both sides.